What's up guys, welcome back to, welcome back to another video. In today's video, it is being filmed on my phone. Kind of cool stuff, kind of cool stuff. Um, uh, we are checking out a few cars. So yesterday I checked out a F31 wagon and an F30. Today we're gonna be checking out a 540i um, that my friend, he's, he absolutely loves 540i's um, for the E39 chassis. I know nothing about that chassis. He thinks it's one of the best chassis ever made. And I kind of want to just check it out in person and just see, because like, some of them are going for pretty cheap and the good conditions of them are going for stupid expensive. So uh, kind of something I'm kind of curious to do because if it's not for us, it's definitely going to be um, a profitable car. But at the same time, I want to experience it. That's the whole thing about what I do on YouTube. I like to buy new cars, experience them, try them. And I also like to buy cars um, for you guys to, uh, for example, like a common car, like an F30. And that's why I was looking at those yesterday because I know a lot of you guys, especially nowadays, the F30s are becoming more of an attainable car. And I like to buy cars that I can, you know, make videos that can relate to a lot of you guys. I know this E91 M3 is more of like um, something for myself and a lot of you guys that like that kind of car content will enjoy that content but a lot of guys that want to watch my videos to buy modifications um, and see how they look on a particular car um, you know watch my videos and stuff like that so uh, I do want to get a side project whether that's gonna be a 540 um, or a 540 and an f30 or an f30 I do want to get one of those um, pretty soon here and I'm hoping today so I guess in today's video guys we're gonna go out car shopping and uh, let's just get some more builds on the channel cuz uh, we need more content and this e91 appointment stuff I, I just can't keep waiting on it I'm literally waiting for phone calls for the show Shop. I'm calling so many places for the shop. It could take months before I find one. It could take weeks, but at the same time, I, I can't keep sitting around. I'm losing my mind over here. And also in terms of the E91, we have an, we need to get set up an appointment for the exhaust. We need to set up an appointment for the quarter panels. We need to set up an appointment for, um, you know, the, the paint stuff. So all that being said, all that stuff is appointments and it takes time and uh, it's, it's, we need something in between. So without further ado, let's just go ahead, head out and uh, go check out a 540. I mean, uh, you never know. I might actually really start liking 540s. I know it's my boy Erlon's one of his favorite cars out there. His E39 M5 is his dream car. And then the E39 540 is like one of his favorite cars out there. So I want to go check it out, see what the hype is about. Um, I'm not really seeing a perfect example of one, but um, you guys know what we do on this channel. We buy a not so perfect version and we make it the perfect version. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead, head down. He's only 10 minutes from my house. We're going to go out in the i3. And if it's all hand and dandy, uh, we'll get the truck and trailer and tow it back. <laughs> If you rockin' with it, put your hands up. This the anthem. If you get up and get it, put your hands up. Let's check out a 540. If you rockin' with it, put your hands up. Yeah. This the anthem. If you get up and get it, put your hands up. Yeah. This one for the winners if you with me. Yeah. Hands up in the sky if you feel me. Yeah. This one for the winners if you with me. Yeah. Hands up in the sky. I give you my word, that's what I stand on. Stand on. Loyalty and trust is what I stand on. Stand on. Family and love is what I stand on. Family and love is what I stand on. Family and love is what I stand on. Right, so I just checked out the car and unfortunately uh, it just it's really rough so the engine is not turning over um, he was supposed to turn over at least uh, he said it has a misfiring issue but it's it's a coil pack I wanted to at least hear the engine turn over if the engine turned over the engine by itself is worth uh, the money that I was even paying for this car uh, it has an M Sport front bumper it has an M Sport upgraded steering wheel so those are some nice upgrades to it that are definitely worth money on cars like that um, and I definitely honestly like the that car in particular it's not the greatest looking one uh, but I can definitely see why someone would really like a clean example of one. They have some in white interior with some black accents in the interior. I think that looks really good. Imagine a manual, imagine a full M Sport, and imagine that V8 in that 540. I think it'll be really good. Uh, again, this is my boy Erlon's dream car. This is his, uh, like not his dream car, but one of his favorite cars out there. And uh, I, I really want to buy this and experience this with him uh, as a, you know, a friend of mine. So um, definitely something that's going to be coming up soon in the channel. If you guys want to see something like that, and we'll try to make you know the cleanest 540 out there. And we'll try to buy a 540i and do our save a bmw thing and just try to make it like just restore it uh to it, all of its glory uh this one as well as a salvage title i had low mileage but it is a salvage title i feel like a restoration project you want to keep it a clean title uh so that's something i'm also gonna be looking out for this is a good parts car but it, 
until I find uh, a decent 540 for a decent price. Nowadays, I think they're going for like 7K with like 200,000 miles for a decent spec. So that's kind of crazy for, for you know, a non-M car at that year. I can get an E36 M3 for those kind of prices. So uh, long story short, I'll keep you all posted. As of right now, I'm going to be heading down to the bank to get some cash because I think I'm going to buy this F30. Believe it or not, guys, I've actually never bought an F30 on this channel um, and actually built it, built it. Obviously, my brother got a totaled one. We just put like the front bumper on and, uh, you know, we, we built a couple things in the front end and then we pretty much called it a day. But uh, in terms of uh, F30 modifications, we really didn't buy an F30 and, uh, you know, just modify it to all of its glory. You know, just do a full body kit on there, uh, tunability stuff, carbon fiber stuff. Um, I honestly really, really, really miss doing that stuff. Like we've been, you know, building a lot of M cars and like restoring cars, uh, but I really want to do a fun, uh, just built, custom build, you know, wheels, coilovers. I mean, obviously we're doing that again on the E91 M3, uh, but it's a little different when you do it to a car that's more budget friendly. Like everything's super cheap on an F30. You can get an F30 nowadays for seven grand. This one I'm looking at is only 5K for a clean title uh, Sportline F30 in mint, con uh, mint condition, one owner. Like I'll give you guys all the details, hopefully if we get this thing, but I already saw it yesterday. Um, hopefully we get it today. All right, guys, so we officially made it back home. We got the cash right over here from the bank, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, it feels pretty good to be able to actually get an F30 uh, just because I really miss that car. I think that car is an amazing car for the money nowadays. I mean, literally nowadays, if you look for a 200,000 mileage uh, E90 in like mint condition, like the desired spec, sports package, all that good stuff, you're gonna be still spending about four to five grand on a good example. Again, clean title, one owner. Um, so this F chassis being a one owner, clean title with Sportline package and the paint's in immaculate shape, um, I don't know. I just, I just feel like t in today's world in 2023, I think the best car for the money, um, just, you know, the daily driver, a project, whatever, um, is going to have to be an F30. That's the reason I'm actually buying this car. There's no other reason I have a daily, I have project cars. I literally just want to buy this so I can modify the heck out of it. Um, and show you guys what we can do to an F30 and just make it beautiful and then uh you know you know we'll see what we're gonna do after that but see so yeah, i'm gonna go ahead and just pick up this project just to have some fun with it and i think you guys are gonna enjoy the journey so without further ado uh let's skip to a few hours from now and uh go pick up this bad boy Um, this is the next morning. I literally just woke up to shoot this. It was pouring last night, so I really couldn't even really record a cinematic of the car. But can you guys believe that you can get a car like this for five grand nowadays? Like, especially, I mean, like basically the car market did go down, but I didn't think you can get an F chassis. Now, I know it has 182,000 miles, and to some people that might be considered mechanically totaled, but but this was a one owner car, guys. The engine sounds so much better than my wife's 328. My wife owned a 328, um, it was like an M Sport 
uh, like interlock is blue on red interior is a gorgeous spec but the engine was ticking ticking like like a time bomb that thing was like that thing was literally like at any moment the timing chain would have went i mean it sounded so crazy this engine sounds so much better um this car was taking care of the dealer the entire life of this car it was daily driven to dixon which is basically like two and a half hours away from here so basically all he did is he bought this car to commute he never really beat on it or anything like that no one else actually sat in this car either since the the day of the ownership like he literally told me that no one ever sat in the rear um that's why those rear seats are like literally brand new which is really cool the only thing that's pretty much messed up is this door handle right over here just the driver's door handle uh the rest of them are literally perfect because it was not really used um but this one yeah this one needs to get replaced we'll definitely end up replacing that as part of the process of restoring this and modifying this this is a clean title with zero lights on the dash guys we literally only have that question mark because uh, we're almost out of gas but yeah zero lights on the dash clean title no accident history one owner this is the sport line package so uh yeah it has all like the cool little sport touches the sport seats the red striping uh the red trim right over here um actually has the upgraded bigger screen um doesn't have paddle shifters something that we're definitely gonna have to retrofit ourselves but uh stuff yeah we're definitely gonna be doing to this car now i know some of you guys gonna be like nor why are you building a 328 like some people might care some people might not but the thing is at the end of the day don't don't look at the fact that it's a 328 look at the fact that it's an f30 and this car came in pretty much a 328 a 330i a 335 and a 340i like this this chassis has had so many different um engines inside of it and uh, i figured you know i was just trying to get something that's like a best bang for the buck um which this one you guys can even see like the paint like again this one was just so pristine i was looking at 335s but when i saw this one the paint looks like it was literally polished all the time the interior looked immaculate when i saw this car especially for the money i was like you know what this is the perfect car to start a build series on and something that i'd actually really love something that's not beat up or something that's not totaled and at the same time like i'm building an e91 m3 that thing's gonna be absolutely crazy i'm gonna put a supercharger on it we have all the crazy stuff to make that car absolutely insane um i just wanted to build a car that a lot of you guys can relate to e91 m3 is, is something custom something like one off and not a lot of people can really relate to that car a lot of people can admire the fact that that car is gonna be kind of crazy it's gonna be a very unique car um, but i want a car that people can relate to and that's the reason i actually bought this car i actually contacted one of my partners keys motorsports and we're gonna be doing a full build on this car guys like it's gonna look absolutely insane by the time we're done with it and we're going to be going really quick with this build at the same time just something to have in the background um, while finding a shop for the business and modifying the e91 m3 and getting that thing on the road um because the e91 m3 it's literally it's just gonna be a process you know but yeah let me know down below guys did i make a big financial mistake <laughs> or was this thing definitely worth the five grand every penny of it it's been really hard to film content i definitely don't want to do any more of those sit down videos so today is more of a spontaneous thing i want to just go buy a car um and just just film you know like i wanted to film something at least something interesting i think it's more interesting to buy a car and uh you know a high mileage car in pristine condition to show you guys that than just to talk about the e91 m3 and just things we're going to be doing to it i'd rather just film the things that we're actually getting done to it um when the time comes and that's you know it's just taking some time we're, we're at the tedious stuff we did all the we did all the man hours ourselves at this point we need some professionals so but yeah guys you're gonna have to conclude this video so make sure to smash that like button if you guys are excited to see f30 content i've never actually really built an f30 on the channel so i think it's gonna be very very exciting especially for me especially considering i got the car for five grand i believe i dump another five grand into this car we're gonna make it look absolutely insane for ten thousand dollars and ten thousand dollars guys is nothing for a beautiful bmw so so yeah if you guys want to see an insane build for under 10 grand on this f30 uh just to smash that like button i'm very excited for it. i'm literally gonna call up all my partners and just just go ham on this so without further ado guys that's gonna have to conclude the video i love y'all so much remember to stay humble boss y'all the next one peace out